hate it. I don't like Coachella at all. I literally hate it so much. I don't want to be here. I literally. Let me explain to you why I was crying. I just felt different. And at the moment, it wasn't like different in a good way. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a video that I never thought I'd film. I'm super sick, so please ignore my voice. But today I'm kind of filming a commentary video. My channel is definitely not a commentary channel. I do my unpopular opinions sometimes just for fun. But I never really share my opinion and I'm always scared about saying the wrong thing. But today I was watching a video from this YouTuber. I know her name's Keisha. I just don't know her exact channel name. And it just really inspired me to make this video about my perspective on the issue. I am a Chinese American. I'm 50% Mongolian and 50% Chinese. Well, that's what I know. In her video, she was discussing about how this brand sent a lot of girls to Fiji, sent people to Coachella, and about how there was a lack of diversity. And I don't want to be like unclassy and like mention the brand. You guys all know who the brand is. Like, I don't even need to like say it, you know? I really like this brand. That's where I buy my brand in Melville. Like, I never buy it off the website. I always buy it off of this app because there would be free shipping. I use this app. But today it like, really made me want to boycott this app. Made me think more. So this company has never really been known for their diversity. For Coachella, they kind of just threw a few black girls in with maybe like one gr Asian girl in. In this video, she was showing clips about, about the comparisons of their rooms. Verena and some other girls that were part of the minority were literally in a room that was a lot less nice than the room that like Hannah, Summer, they were all staying in. So those four girls were in a room by themselves and it didn't even look like a room. No shade. It didn't look like a room. It was like it was it looks like it was connected to the living room or kitchen or something like that. I just went air. She's literally the sweetest Aww. ever. Hey. So this is like our room where we're staying. I don't know who's staying right there, but that's my bed. That's Iris, and then there's Danielle. And the beds just looked so... Oh my god, I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm going to try and insert some clips for you guys. I was watching, I think, Ava's vlog. <sighs> we switched rooms, so we have the room connecting to... Who is it? Ellie, Aaron, Summer. Summer, and Kalani. We're all sharing a room now. I'm very excited. And it's not necessarily just a room, but also like Fiji, about how there were like little clicks and about how all the white girls would be on one side. Daniela Perkins made a video about her experience in Coachella and she literally just felt like she was so different, like she didn't fit in and just made it sound like a terrible experience. Honestly, I don't blame her for that and I think she was telling the truth there. So, here's the thing, I fucking, I feel like a big ass pussy right now, I just, I don't, I just feel like so awkward <laughs> and like, I hate it. I don't like Coachella at all. I literally hate it so much. I don't want to be here. I literally, it's too much. I don't know. I feel like I don't know anyone. And it's just, it feels so uncomfortable. It's not even fun. Let me explain to you why I was crying. I just felt different. And at the moment, it wasn't like different in a good way. I just felt awkward. Like I felt awkward to be there. I just want to be clear about the reason why I'm making this video. It's because I am pretty young, but I love YouTube. I've been doing it for four years. But it's definitely one of my passions and something that I would like to do as a job and just seeing that a brand that is so popular or something that I want to support like not really accept other races as much as they probably should and other sizes you might be like why are you talking about this with sizes and maybe right now I'm a size like two to four but I'm a kid I'm still growing and I don't think I'm necessarily going to be an Emma Chamberlain body size and I feel like all the girls that are the most promoted or the ones that stay in the same room they're all very slim they're all white it can just be discouraging as a 12 year old girl that's Asian I don't think about my race that much but this video kind of made me think about it I want to make my videos aesthetic and to be honest I do want to fit into that little click or that little niche on YouTube where you try juice cleanses and you do vlog morning routines like I want to be part of that to to be honest, I feel like sometimes I don't fit into that box. Sometimes I like want to force myself to fit into that box. I just don't know if anyone would click on that video if an Asian girl was in the thumbnail. And I feel like everything I'm saying is sounding harsh, but like these are some of the thoughts that I have to myself, but I'm just sharing them online right now. I just hope that this brand for future trips can make it more race inclusive and just different sizes 
spice the trip up a little bit. And I know that it's not only the brand's fault, people can cause clicks. No shade to any of the white girls that were on this trip. I watch a lot of them, I like a lot of them, some I don't like, but the majority I do like. It can just be a little discouraging, I guess, to see that you feel like you won't succeed in your niche because of your race. I'm scared to make this video because, I mean, I don't think this video is gonna blow up or anything, and like, even if the, I don't even think the brand's gonna see this, but like, I don't wanna make a video that's negative about this brand and have them not want to work with me maybe in like three years but at the same time why would i want to work with a brand that's like this i don't know literally yesterday i was editing my description box and i put that company's little discount code thing in my description box because everyone that's on there can get a description code it's like a give five dollars and you get five dollars because i was like oh this will be good it's kind of like another link or something that i can put into my description box and i quickly deleted it today when i just saw this video and i've always had thoughts about don't having the same demographic of girls and i understand that these teenagers you know aesthetic teenagers are the thing you know quirky teenager like i know that it's the trend on youtube right now i could like see why they're inviting who they're inviting but when i saw that video i was kind of just like reminded that like i just like can't support them oh my gosh i feel like i'm making no sense in this video i really didn't put any notes i literally just got this idea to film this video literally an hour ago and i was just like i just can't wait and i don't want to wait wait till i regret this video i think i'm just gonna have this video out there and if i get insecure i might private it but i'm really gonna try to stay strong with myself and keep this video up because i don't talk about my race that much and Oh wait, I forgot the whole part I want to talk about. Oh my gosh. I wanted to talk about my relationship with my race. As a kid, I feel like every Asian kind of relates to this in a way. Is I would always degrade my culture. I talk about my culture kind of in a way. It's like racist, but I'd be like, oh, it's not racist because I'm that culture. But I was kind of like degrading my own culture. And I didn't want to be Asian. And I wanted to be like all my other friends. I was talking to another Asian. They were talking about how in fifth grade, you get a math placement for middle school. And they they purposely failed their math test so they wouldn't be put in the highest level and wouldn't be an Asian stereotype. And as a kid, I tried to distance myself from that Asian stereotype so much. And now I want to be that Asian stereotype. It's like not everyone will be able to relate to this and a lot of the majority of my audience is white. Sometimes I feel like I'm in between <laughs> two worlds or two cultures. Like I'm not white enough, but I'm also like not Asian enough to like be with like Asian stereotype people. I was literally at this dinner with my family and <laughs> one of the kids there calls me a banana, which means that you're yellow on the outside and white on the inside. And he didn't necessarily say this with like bad intentions. I don't know what Chinese kids are like in other people's areas, but a lot of them that I meet that are like stereotype Asians can kind of be negative. So I didn't really take it that personally. But like people can realize that I'm a little whitewashed, but I also don't feel white enough. I wanted to be the Asian stereotype because I don't want to be looked down as a stupid Asian. So I wanted to be like, oh, I'm going to play piano, do so many like, 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 do I want to be white or do I want to be Asian? I don't know. And I just spent so much time just pushing away my culture. And now it's kind of just like, I want it back. But I don't know how to get it back. But I know that I'll never be the Asian stereotype. And I'm just going to follow who I am. And who I am might be yellow, might be white, might be a little mix of both. But I'm going to embrace that part of myself. And I don't want this to come off as a negative video. I want to make positive content. And maybe this video is a little negative to the brand. But I want to make a positive video that maybe you guys can relate to. Or just start the conversation up because I've just been feeling this way lately and I never really make videos like this where I'm super open about stuff but I wanted to make a video a few weeks ago about how I felt like I was in between two worlds but this video that I saw on YouTube really just pushed me to just do this so thank you so much Keisha but the main source I'm getting at is as a 12 year old girl that is Chinese and Mongolian <laughs> that wants to pursue YouTube and you know be part of that aesthetic niche this can be quite discouraging to see thank you guys so much for watching this video was kind of everywhere but i just wanted to open up about it and this is why i'm filming this video and just gonna release it at a random time get it out as soon as possible because i don't care if the editing is not perfect if it's not super aesthetic this is not going to be my twice a week you know average video it's going to be like a bonus video so don't come for me okay but i just wanted to open up about it i don't think about my race a lot but sometimes when i sit down and think about it i'm just like i'm a whitewashed asian
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Honestly, you don't have to subscribe, but please just leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this topic because I just want to start a conversation going. I'm not really looking for comments like, oh my gosh, you look so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so aesthetic. I just want to hear your opinions, so please leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, you put ginger in it? Oh my god. Oh, the best in life for free. So why not me? So why not me? Never did I have to ask the sun to shine on me.